国协会和威尔逊中心联合呼吁美国鼓励中国来投资。不过，至此的美国商务部长骆家辉他却痛批北京不公平贸易。中年特派张国华来自华府的报道。美国亚洲协会和威尔逊中心联合发表的一份研究报告，呼吁美国政府不要忧虑或拒绝，而是要鼓励和欢迎中国在美国的投资。可是应邀致辞的美国商务部长骆家辉在发言中表示，欢迎中资之后，立即痛批北京在经贸上的弊端。Lacks intellectual property protection, lack of predictability and openness in government decision making. And a series of policies that unfairly discriminate against foreign companies operating in China. When it comes to market access problems for foreign companies, the issues may be different, but the, fundament, the, but the fundamental problem often boils down to the distance between promises of China's government. 中国驻美大使张月随也应邀到会，但是赶在骆家辉致辞前匆忙离去。骆家辉已经被奥巴马总统提名担任美国下一任驻北京大使。骆家辉在发言中表示，如果能去北京担任大使，推动美中公平贸易，仍将是他的工作重点。Helping to promote market reforms in China and opening up markets for American companies has been a primary focus of mine in my years as Secretary of Commerce. And if the Senate grants me the privilege of serving as our next ambassador to China, it will continue to be a strong focus of mine. 美中第三次战略与经济对话即将在华府拉开帷幕。骆家辉在对话前夕对北京说重话，足以反映美方对中方在双边经贸关系中做法的不满。中天新闻，张国华、钟义庭，华盛顿报道。